I love playing with blocks. Me too. What are we building? A big, big wall. A wall? For what? Just for fun. I want to see if Miss Ashley will notice it. Oh, so kind of like a joke. Yeah, when Miss Ashley comes, I want to see what she does. What if she doesn't notice? How can she not notice? It's a wall! I guess you're right. Do you think she'll knock it down? By herself? It took both of us to build it. It will take more than one person to bring this baby down. Well, let's finish up, because I think I hear Miss a Ashley coming. I'm missing a block. Where did I put it? No time to find it. We gotta hide. Okay, shh. Friends, don't tell Miss Ashley. I'll look for the block later. Whoa! Who put that there? <gasps> oh. oh, you are going to be so in so much trouble. Is that Yellowbird Greenbird? Is that you? <laughs> Uh, hi, Miss Ashley. Hi, Yellowbird. Is this your block? Nope. Um, do you know whose it is? Uh, yep. Uh, are you gonna tell me? It, um, it's Greenbird's. That makes sense. Where is Greenbird? Sorry about the block, Miss Ashley. Um, but do you like my wall? Oh, wow! This wall looks awesome! Thanks! In fact, I got a great idea! Can we use it to tell our Bible story today? There's a wall in the story? Yep, there's a wall in a Bible story. Is it a sturdy, well-built, impressive wall? Sure is! Then sure, my wall sounds perfect for this story. Awesome! Then why don't we get started so we can get to it? Friends, why don't you come sit crisscross applesauce up close so we can get started? Great job! Can Greenbird and I help you with the ready run, Miss Ashley? Of course, I'd love that. Voices disappear as we wiggle our ears. Let's be wise and open our eyes. Shake out the wiggles. Shh, no giggles. And to church we go. So God can help us grow, grow, grow. Great job, friends. That's what we're going to do today. Grow, grow, grow as we learn more about Jesus. Remember, last week we learned about Moses. God used him to help free the Israelites when they were slaves in Egypt. Didn't God help them cross the Red Sea? And provide food and water for them in the wilderness? Yeah, he did. God took care of the Israelites. He was really good to them. But they didn't always trust him. They didn't? Mm-mm, they didn't. But Joshua did. Who was Joshua? Joshua is the key person we're going to learn about today. Are you two ready to learn about him? Of course. I love Bible stories. Me too. Awesome. Then why don't we practice our key passage so we can get started? Miss Monica is going to teach us our key passage for today. Hi, friends. This week's verse is found in Deuteronomy 31.8. Deuteronomy is the book in the Bible, 31 is the chapter, and 8 is the verse where it's found. It says, Do not be afraid or discouraged, for the Lord will personally go ahead of you. He will be with you. Deuteronomy 31.8. Let's use our hand motions to help us remember. Ready? Do not be afraid or discouraged, for the Lord will personally go ahead of you. He will be with you. Deuteronomy 31.8. Let's try it one more time. Do not be afraid or discouraged, for the Lord will personally go ahead of you. He will be with you. Deuteronomy 31.8. Great job, friends. Bye. Thanks, Miss Monica. Thanks, Thanks Miss Monica. Monica. Did you guys hear that? Do you know what that sound means? That's right, it's mail time. Let's see what Mailbox has for us today. Hi, Hi, Mailbox. Help me, I'm choking. Mailbox, what's wrong? Something is in my throat. Ah. Here, let me help you. Phew. Ah. Oh. Phew. Thanks, Miss Ashley. What is that? A block. Green bird. A block? What's that doing in my mouth? 
<laughs> I guess I lost more than one block. Greenbird, why'd you put a block in poor mailbox's mouth? It was kind of an accident, Miss Ashley. I was trying to put my box close to the wall I'm building, and mailbox was just sitting there. I don't sit, I stand. Ah, my throat hurts. Sorry, mailbox. I didn't mean to hurt you. It's okay, Greenbird. I know you didn't mean to. <laughs> oh my goodness. I'll be okay. Mailbox, maybe a cough drop would help. That'd be great. Do you have one? I think so. Let me check in here. Oh, yep. It's right here. Open wide. Uh, mm, honey and lemon, my favorite. I know something else that might cheer you up. What's that? I met your friend Riley. You mean our junior postmaster in training? Yep. I ran into her on my morning walk. She was helping mailman Fred. She was so excited because I invited her to come and hang out with us and read Bible stories with us. So I think you might be seeing more of her. That's great news. Riley is the best. If she comes today, tell her I have a lot of new jokes for her. I have to go rest my throat, though. You got it, Mailbox. I hope your throat feels better. Me too. Sorry again about the block, Mailbox. It's okay. It already feels better. Thanks for the cough drop, Miss Ashley. Bye, friends. Bye, Bye mailbox. Miss Ashley, can you add those blocks to my wall? Sure, Greenbird. Be careful. Easy does it. Careful. Whew. Thanks, Miss Ashley. No problem, Greenbird. So how are we going to use Greenbird's wall today? I'll show you. But I was really hoping that Riley would be here by now. She said she was coming right after she finished helping Mailman Fred with his morning run. Hopefully she gets here. Well, we'll help you, Miss Ashley. Yeah, you got me, yellow, and the best wall ever. Thanks, guys. Are you two ready to hear our Bible story? Yeah. yeah. Awesome. Then let me grab my Bible and we'll see what God has to say. That never gets old. So is today by So is today's Bible story about a big, big Big wall? It is. In fact, the wall in the Bible is even bigger than this one. Whoa. Whoa. No, no way. way. Yep, this is the story of the Battle of Jericho. A battle in a huge wall? I can't wait to hear this story. Well, it's not exactly what you think, but it is a good story. Let's pray and talk to God together to get ourselves ready to read the Bible. Friends, will you all clap with me on the count of three? Ready? One, two, three. Put your hands in your lap and repeat after me. Dear God. Dear God. Thank you for the Bible. Thank you for the Bible. Help us to be quiet and still. Help us to be quiet and still. So we can hear from you today. So we can hear from you today. We love you. We love you. In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Awesome. Now we're ready to read the Bible. Am I too late? Riley, I'm so glad you're here. You came just in time. Sorry, there are a lot of Amazon packages today. No worries. We're just glad you're here now. Would you like to help me tell the story? I'd love to. Perfect. I need you to play the part of Joshua. Who is Joshua? Well, Joshua was one of the Israelites in the wilderness with Moses. He was a man who loved and followed God. Riley, you'll need a costume. Let me grab one for you. Here you go. Who can we be? I need you two to play the part of the people of the city of Jericho. They were the ones that built the wall. Sounds perfect. What was so special about Jericho? Well, remember how the Israelites were walking in the wilderness? Where were they going to Jericho? They sure were. God promised Moses that he was going to give the Israelites a good land. And Jericho was that good land. But Jericho had huge walls around it. And the people inside were not very nice. The Israelites were scared. They began to doubt God. I mean, if I saw a wall as big as this one, 
I don't know how I'd get through that either. Moses came up with a plan. He sent 12 spies into the city of Jericho to see what it was like. Joshua was one of the spies. I get to be a spy? Cool. They got past the wall? They sure did. The spies got past the wall and into the land, and they thought the land was so beautiful. Wow, it's so pretty back here. The spies came back with lots of good things from the land. In fact, they had the biggest grapes you've ever seen. Wow, these grapes are heavy, but they are delicious. Wow, that's so cool. I'm sure they all went to live in Jericho after that. Actually, no, they didn't. Most of the spies thought that the land was really nice, but that the people inside it were not. They were afraid of the people behind those walls, but Joshua was not. He trusted God. God promised us this land. He's our helper. It's so beautiful. Did the Israelites listen to Joshua? Not right away, but Moses, the leader of the Israelites, knew that Joshua was right. So Moses led the people into battle with the people of Jericho? No, not right away. Moses was very old. He didn't make it into the promised land. But when Moses died, he left Joshua as the leader of the Israelites. Joshua was, I mean, I was the leader of the Israelites? And you were a good leader, too. Joshua knew that Jericho was the land God had promised the Israelites. He wasn't afraid of the people behind those walls because he knew that God would help them. Is it time for the battle yet? It is. In fact, it's where you two come in. So let me grab your headdresses. Here they are. Riley, will you put that on green bird? Sure. Here you go, yellow bird. Thanks. There you go, green bird. And Joshua? Yes. You're gonna need some armor. Here, you can wear this helmet, and I'll grab your shield, too. God told Joshua to lead the people into the city of Jericho. God has given us this land. He's our helper. We must not be afraid. But the people inside the walls didn't like the Israelites. They didn't want to let them in. Jericho! Our wall is big, our wall is strong. Jericho! I know God is with me, but I'm kind of afraid to attack a big city. Well, I've got some good news for you. With God's plan, the Israelites didn't have to attack at all. They didn't attack? So the people of Jericho? I mean, so we won. No, God won. This was God's plan. He told Joshua to have the people march in front of the city for six days, one time each day. Marching? Why not attack? Because that wasn't part of God's plan. But Joshua loved and followed God, so he did what God said. Israelites, I know it doesn't make sense now, but we have to follow God's plan. Everyone, start marching. The people marched for six days, and the Jer people of Jericho yelled at them. Ooh. We're so scared. We never get past our wall. Our wall is big. big our, our wall, wall is strong. J -j 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 Jericho. Joshua didn't listen to the people of Jericho. He kept listening to God. God is my helper. On the seventh day, the Israelites marched seven times because that's what God said. More marching? Why not attack? because that's not a part of God's plan. Everyone, keep marching. Friends, let's help Riley count to seven. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. For crying out loud, not you people again. Haven't you had enough? All you're doing is stirring up the dirt. Our wall is big, our, our wall, wall is strong, J-J-J-Jericho.
The people had marched and marched, and nothing happened. See? Nothing happened. The wall cannot be broken. Nothing happened until the Israelites followed the last part of God's plan. God wanted the priests to blow their trumpets. Trumpets? And he wanted the Israelites to shout as loud as he could. Shout? How's that going to help? If it's a part of God's plan, it always works. So Joshua said, Sound the trumpets! And everyone shout, Israelites! 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 What's happening? Oh no! The wall came tumbling down and the Israelites marched right into the city and took it over because God had promised it to them. Look at my wonderful wall. I can't believe it fell down. But don't you think that's how the people of Jericho felt when their wall fell down? They didn't think anyone could get past their wall. Our, Our wall, wall fell down. down. Our, Our wall, wall is, is gone. gone. Jericho. And that's the story of the Battle of Jericho. Here, let me get your costumes from you. Wow, that really wasn't a battle. But God won. He made that wall fall down out of fight. Yeah, God was with the Israelites as they went into the promised land. God showed his power to them so that they would trust him. God is really powerful. He sure is. God shows his power to us so that we'll trust him too. He does? Yeah, he does. When Jesus came to earth, he showed his power so that people would trust him and we could be saved from our sin. He did? He sure did. Here, let me show you something. I got this locket and I wear it to help me remember how Jesus showed his power. That's a pretty locket. See what's inside it. It's empty. Yeah, it's empty. I don't get it. Well, do you guys remember what Jesus did when he came to earth? He died on the cross. To take the punishment for our sins. So that we believe in him, we can be forgiven. And be best friends with God forever. You're so right. I'm so proud of all of you. But do you know what happened next? They put him in a tomb, right? That's right. After Jesus died on the cross, his friends put his body in a big tomb. And then, three days later, something amazing happened. He came back to life. You're right, Riley. He came back to life. The tomb was empty. Just like your locket! Yep. Jesus is the only one who's more powerful than death. And my locket helped me remember that. Aw, I love that. With the empty tomb, Jesus showed his power so people would trust him. When we put our trust in Jesus, we can be saved and be friends with God forever. Jesus is so cool. You know what, Riley? I want you to keep that locket. Really? Yeah, it'll help you remember that you can trust Jesus because he's powerful. Thank you, Miss Ashley. I'll wear it all the time. I'm really glad you like it. You know... One way to help us remember the whole story is God's plan for me. It tells us everything Jesus did for us. Why, why don't we practice it together? It's the best thing you can ever remember. Riley, do you want to lead God's plan for me? I would love to. Awesome. Friends, why don't you stand up so you can do God's plan for me with Riley? Okay, everybody. Everyone put your crowns up. Ready? One, two, three. God rules, we sinned, God provided, Jesus gives, we respond. Okay, everybody, now we're going to do it really fast. Everyone put your crowns up. Ready? One, two, three. God rules, we sinned, God provided. Wow, Riley, you beat me. Thanks. I've been practicing. You did really awesome. I hope you've been practicing at home, too. Remember. 
just like God showed his power to the Israelites so they would trust him, he shows his power to us too. Jesus is more powerful than death. We can trust him and he can save us. Why don't we pray and talk to him right now? Will you all clap with me on the count of three? One, two, three. Put your hands in your lap and I'm going to pray for us. Dear Jesus, you are so powerful. Thank you for showing your power to help us trust you. Help us to trust you all the time. Thank you for dying to save us and thank you for loving us. We love you back. In your name we pray. Amen. 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 I had a great time with you today, friends. So did we. Me too. And we can't wait until next time when we all come back so God can help us grow, grow, grow.